In today's business case study, let's learn about Zomato. Well, if I have to talk to you and give you a little bit detail about it, it's not a complete marketing strategy that we are discussing about Zomato. Here we are talking a little unique features of Zomato, how it has been able to make it to IPO with over 1 lakh crore plus valuation. Let's discuss about this. Another point here to remember is Zomato is a company which has bear losses of about 4,600 crore rupees. Now that's something huge. These losses are over a period of about 4 plus years. Not only that, Zomato has not gone on to be a profitable company. It has only gone on to reach its losses. Now then, how it has come up to a valuation of about 1 lakh crore plus rupees when it went on to an IPO? Let's discuss about this. Trading of loss, a new paradigm shift, the story of Zomato. The company accumulated loss of, of over rupees 4,600 crore. Now let's know how it went on to incur losses up till about 4,600 crore. It incurred loss of rupees 106 crore in 2018. In 2019, it incurred losses of about 1,000 crore rupees. In 2020, it incurred losses of about 2,400 crore rupees. Likewise, in 2021, it incurred losses of about 800 crore rupees. And recently, post 2021, it has incurred a loss of about 350 crore in just three months of the new financial year 2021. Aggregating total loss of about 4,600 crore rupees from the period 2018 to 2021 June. Quite strange, right? A company who has incurred losses of about 4,600 crore rupees, valued over 1 lakh crore plus, has it came to IPO. Now, this is an interesting information for those of you who invest in stock market, where you know the insight of a company or a startup who gets on up to a valuation of 1 crore plus from zero and which has never seen a profitable era in its lifetime. Let's look into it in detail. With these losses continue to mounting high, they managed to stand in their foot from 2018 till today. Strange that is not a year old business having a past years of profit accumulated which can set off their present and future losses. Hence, it is quite evident that net loss is funded by capital and debt. But why the investors keep pumping the fund? Now here we are going to learn why the investors kept pumping the funds into the startup before it went on to an IPO. Let's look into it. If the business was running on loss, were the employee not paid? Answer is no, they were not handsomely paid. The other question is, were the customer forced to pay the high amount? Answer is no, they were instead given meals and high discounts. The other question is, might the founders and top brass were taking less perks? The answer is no. Founder basic salary was rupees 3.5 crore. Likewise, co-founder gross remuneration was 3.7 crore. CTO's salary was 1.5 crore and CFO salary was 3.26 crore. Now, the question is, any income tax? No, because the company was running into losses all those four years. So there's no question of income tax. So yeah, the interesting question is, then who are bearing this all losses? The answer is the investors. The investors, the early stage investors, up till the time when the company has went on to an IPO, those investors have bared all these losses. Now why? That's exactly what we'll learn in this video. It is proved here the loss of 4,670 crore is funded by external investors. So say this word in your mind, it is existing investors of the company who are at loss. Now how this external existing investors would gain if the company is running loss? Now here's the trick. What if I tell you the losses can be sold at profit? This is the reason why the investors were bearing the losses. Now would you ask me, how is this possible? Now let me give you in detail about this. Investors. Top 5 investors were holding around 50% stake. 
who pumped fund into startup has already eaten up their fund with their losses yet in the books they were holding number of share and percentage of stake let's say about 50% stake it's all valuation gain the valuation is a talking point here the company went into an independent valuation valuer valued the loss making company for rupees 60000 crore it's strange but it's true now let's look into how company went into an ipo with this valuation of about 60000 crore rupees company went for ipo that means they are going to lease their shares in stock market making their shares easily accessible for all public to purchase and further sale strong advertisement endorsement by some experts news channels social media etc created such a hype in the market of forthcoming ipos that it gave the feeling for any stock market trader a cake which no one going to give a miss to buy with such a huge marketing and valuation an expert advice the ipo got oversubscribed by who being 38% with listing price at rupees 116 which was valued at 72 to 76 which itself was questionable the interesting point was that company went for ipo for rupees 9400 crore out of which only 400 crore will only pumped into company rest 9000 crore was part of offer for sale by existing investor did anyone notice here subscribing to share means purchasing the shares from the existing investors now in this term the existing investors are those investors who are invested in the into the startup and pumped up the money when the company was into the loss which generally people reluctant to do as they are more interested in funding the company than buying such shares from existing investor that means out of 9400 crore subscribed and funded by public in the form rupees 116 share the 9000 crore will go into the pocket of early investors now here we go who are these early investors these are the same investors who invested into a loss making company and selling their stakes now at higher profits now the value of share of early investor is 1010 times higher than purchase the share at first so far 4700 crore loss making company everyone was paid at value more than worth a point to note here is the company which came into an ipo with over 60000 crore plus now which is over 1 lakh crore plus valuation which was incurring a losses of about 4600 crore now this 4600 crore was been invested by these early investors who are now making the profit by selling their stakes by selling their stake which has made them more than 1000 returns now i'm quite sure for those of you who invest into the stock market how much do you make up now these investors these angel investors early stage investors have a good planogram to make 1000 times of their money that is what exactly we are discussing here so the people who invest into the stock market open your eyes and see how people make money by investing into a startup here everybody was paid value more than worth number 1 employee number 2 customers number 3 founders number 4 top management people and at last and at higher rate the investors so now who is handling the losses are those investors who invested into company to burn out or it's us has general public who invest into a stock market to buy these shares of these early investors the loss has been traded from the top 10 investors to public at a profit from 60 to 1010 times interesting zomato story this is stock market for you valuation media marketing experts has made the loss traded into pocket of public at extremely high value at the entrance now what is the use of fundamental even loss making company is beating profit yielded organization just on the basis of future perception 
which is made to be created by environmental element that is sponsored or independent is questionable. We see the way stocks are traded in stock market are influenced by the promoted factors rather than fundamentals and scientific cause. Now what do we learn from this case study? The burden of 4,600 crore loss plus now the additional loss due to overvaluation is in pocket of the public. Now the question is, have you subscribed or purchased the stock? Hope you've liked this video. If you have liked this video, do not forget to like and subscribe this channel and comment on the comment box, what are your thoughts on this? See you in the next video. In our next video, we're going to discuss about this loss making company turned out to be oversubscribed with a valuation of 1 lakh crore plus in IPO. How all this happened? Let's learn their marketing strategies in detail in our next video and business case study.